And they fixed that John Deere right there. Got my coat over there. Uh, so. Let me show you what we did to the building. Still ain't done. Got to do some gravels or something on the floor. I don't know. But what jam. I use that cardboard to lay on. So that's there for a reason. I now have crap, crap tons of room. Crap tons. And there's all the mowers. There's the, that's a Toro 42 inch. That's a 48 inch snapper. 48 inch skag. 52 skag. 48 Toro. And I'll try to put a picture of the, just go to the video. I'll link the video to what this looked like the other day. <laughs> now here's my favorite part. You ready to see my favorite part? Oh, chow, baby. Now that is sexy. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Backpack blower's there. The other one's, the echo's right there. So if you notice, there's like a, well, wait, you st still can't see them all. Right there's the FC edger. That's the 66 350 BT. And then there's the 535 LS, 535 LK, 525 LST, 223 L, 128 LD, 94R, 94R, Echo 2620T, Echo 225. I give myself so much room over here that I didn't give myself enough room over here because I got the trash can right in the way. I mean, I got plenty of room. Echo 770, see the 225. Those hooks, you can buy two of them for 10 bucks. And there's the 45 trimmer, and there is the big boss. A PT5S or S5, I forget what it's called. And then, crap, I didn't mean to leave that there. You got the Who's Farna 455 Rancher, the CS450P 193, 170. That's a 1842, and the other one's a 5020 Poland. Then the 125BV 55. The Edger, and that's the old Poland. That's my first gas blower I ever bought. That's why I'm keeping it. That other Poland sitting over yonder, I'm not keeping it. I got these slots. I was thinking about putting plywood down, but I like the slots. Keeps water or anything, and up there's a bunch of attachments. Edge trimmer, and that's the post saw, and there's the blower vac. Yeah, look at all this room, bros. I can just walk freely. Uh oh, there's trash I missed. I still got the only thing we didn't have time to listen. It took us 10 hours of hard work. <laughs> I'm not making that up. Me and Roy both. We went for 10 straight hours. No lunch breaks. Nothing. But we got her done. So I got to figure out what this is. That's what the Black Velky come in or the other one. I don't know. One of them. Got stuff to change my oil. I got all my filters ready. I'll share y'all this. I haven't shared this on YouTube, I don't think. Y'all know I love the XP Force, right? Well, this is the new version of it. They said it's to simplify the names. So now XP Force is officially Titanium X Pro, I guess. I like the color better too. I can see it better than I can the gray. So who's for now? Now listen to me. They did give it to me, but I already bragged a long time ago how much I love this. They've just changed the colors and renamed it. That's my favorite. And I've got boxes of this. If y'all ever want to... Nah, I ain't selling none of it. I've got boxes. I've got a whole box of... Well, not boxes. i got a whole box of that. I'm just keeping... That's titanium force. But i got to... 
do something with this. So I'm going to show you my mess. I'm not ashamed of it. I bought some 3M tape to put that back on my mower. Let's go to the stuff I don't use. I hate this line. You see it, don't you? It's, I've had it since it came out almost. That stuff's a joke. This is the last roll of this I got. I, I kind of like it. And then odds and ends of... I got lots of this XP oil. There's a brand new exhaust I bought like 200 bucks for that new skag engine and I ended up using the old exhaust. I'm so stupid. So it's been sitting here for like since I put the new engine on. I like VP racing flu uh, fuel <laughs> oil. So I just got a little bit of that. There's my original uh what the frick's them things called? Orbitrim that I made a video. They sent me like five of those or ten. I've got them in the house in a box if you want them. But anyway, I'm not done by any means, but I started lining up the shovels and stuff. They're all lined up. I got like, found out I had like 15 axes. And just some of the shovels. I can't give you a, a wide view of it because this phone's camera. I should have recorded this on my, uh, you know, what's it called? Hold on, that Black 7 that I've been using since it, well, you know, I pre ordered it. Had it for a while now. I just don't use it much. But any hoot, that's it. Now, this isn't everything. <laughs> this is everything in here for now. I still got push mowers. Y'all remember my Troy build? I still got it. I got all that stuff. This is what you would call the active build. No shelves over there. Stuff's got to go. We, I just, we run out of daily. Man, I was tired. We, we worked hard. See, there's that yellow pole one. We worked hard, yo. And I'm going to buy a new toolbox. I was going to take one of my big toolboxes out of my other buildings. I decided to leave them alone. And I'm going to put that new uh, green, that new green uh, Harbor Freight U.S. General toolbox right there. So I'm going to go buy one tool cart. So for now, I just kept this little cheapo. I mean, it works. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just a, you don't want to go too nice in this metal building. It's not insulated. Look at that big boy. That's my back up here. I don't know. I'm gonna start using this again. Ain't nothing wrong with this edger either. But y'all like how I got that motif going? I'm actually gonna take his seat off and restaple the seat where it ripped or sew it back, whatever I gotta do. There's the jungle gym. Ain't even got the tires muddy on it yet. I put the plate back on it. I usually take the plate off and I use a smaller pen. See that pen? I have used it. It don't look like it, but I can assure you, you're going to get some better videos of it. I would be using it right now if it done this. This is why I don't use it all the time. That's the only reason. Because it needs to go all the way around when you're using a hydro. Like a belt drive... It's perfect because you can't go back. Well, you can. This thing, if you put it in reverse, it'll run over you if you ain't careful. So I don't like putting it in reverse. I put it in neutral because you put that in reverse, it freaking jerks hard backwards. You can't stop it. So I try to leave it. <laughs> but yeah, there's the two Toros and hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I haven't made my mind up about a new mower. I have not made my mind up. Do I need a new one? No. I just want to increase production. And I think a standard will fit a niche in between this and these. There's a few properties that it would work perfectly. Because. Wait a minute. Because a standard will not take the heels of these wheel. I don't care who you talk to. If you don't believe me, bring your stander here. And I'm going I'm supposed to be getting a stander here soon to demo. 
the Husqvarna. I was going to get it last year and it didn't work out. So this year, that's the one I want. That's what I, I think I told them that. I'm not sure. But anyway, I want a standard bad, but it will not fill in the niche, but these will. These do heels like it. I'm talking like here's the level. We're talking to where you're standing below it with your hands way up. You probably shouldn't mow that it's steep. But production boys, it's the only way you can make any monies and uh, you know get it done quick and efficiently. And this nothing there's nothing in that. The PTO went out on it, as y'all know, and I fixed it. It's like what, three hundred and fifty bucks pro parts direct. I used that coupon code and saved like fifty bucks. <sighs> but there ain't nothing wrong with nothing in here. Nothing. I just need that stander. <laughs> I'd like to go all standards and walk behinds and just use this at my house, I guess. I mean, I'm going to use it on lawns, but I want that who's far in a standard. I think it's highly, I mean, I've messed with it. I just ain't had a lot of, I can't, I don't know. Bad boy, the prices for a new mower is just for what it looks on I asked the dealer that I buy pew pews from and they give me a little higher price and they said bad boy said that it's the price of cash and I was like God it's expensive for a dang unproven bad boy stand on maybe it's the best one in the world hell I, I don't know I don't think it's for me though not for that price when I can buy Husqvarna or Skag V-Ride 2 That's pretty mowers. Man, do I like mowers. I like this mower. Like I said, I cleaned it up and parked it. I cleaned them all up, but the... Well, I did clean them all up with the 42 right there. That one. But then we use them, you know. This one's mainly dirty because I walk on it all the time. But let's go back to this. I know I told you what they are, but... Hey, I like this setup. Should I put all my chainsaws here? I only got, I got two in the house. Hey, y'all didn't see that. Yeah, I showed you my new uh, 240 Husqvarna. It's still in the house. I ain't put gas in it yet. I've had it for what, a week or two. And the one I rebuilt, the Poland 1985 model, it's in the house. Cause I gotta adjust the carb when I put it in some wood and I just ain't feel like bringing it back out. But look at the difference. That just got away from me. I should have used that 94R. It's still got the dang guard on it. And the thing. It's the same model. I've made a video. Both of them's 2014. Just didn't use that one. Didn't. Because I kind of went a little trimmer crazy. And then Echo sent me that 2620T. You remember the ambassador program? A lot of people that ain't been around don't know what that was they sent i don't know four or five of us these trimmers before they even released them right and we wasn't supposed to tell nobody and we didn't i waited till i was supposed to and then i shared it and it's called ambassador program they give me that and that and yes i was invited to the uag twice i have to disclose all that because i'm an honest person did I go? No. Did I want to go? Yes. Did stuff come up? Yes. Would I ever go again? I don't see why I wouldn't. If I ever talked to him again, I would love to go to Chicago to look at the factory. It would fit one of my wildest dreams because of how much I haven't asked them <laughs> since the last time I talked to him. I haven't kept in contact with Echo. And still, you know... That's my original brand. Everybody that knows my channel, I've been born and raised a fanboy. But who's far enough taking my heart? I look at those things, man. Wait till y'all see this funny thing I bought. <laughs> I'm gonna make a joke video to not a joke, just something funny. And it's not the whole video is gonna be funny. Just something I bought. Let's see. Here's the 770. And this post saw is phenomenal. 
the same thing as a 525 trimmer just a big gigantuan extendable pole saw it'll go all the way across this building i love that chainsaw i was almost gonna buy xp saw or something but i am not an arborist and i'm not a full service tree company i mean a full-time tree company so i'm good <laughs> And when I wear this one out, I'm going to get a hoss of a Husqvarna XP. I don't know which one, but it'll happen. And I like my little steels. And believe it or not, people can knock pulling all they want, and everybody likes to do it. I can take these right now and crank them and go cut. Now that one I was having problems with, but it's fixed. The bar. <sighs> so it's good to go. That 5020 is strong. I mean, strong. It ain't even 455, but it'll go up with that echo. Probably stronger than that echo. But I sharpen my own chains and everything. Everything's good. I need to take this one and sharpen its chain. But I keep getting distracted here. You know, I, I, I might make this my full time trimmer, but God, do I love his 525. Right here's why I quit buying 94 R's. And you're going to say, well, why didn't you like the 2620 from Echo? A lot of people ask me that. Why don't you use that? Well, I like it. I have nothing against that 2620. Just so happens I like the 525 LST. It's like two pounds lighter, bros. And just as strong, two pounds. You might say, well, that ain't much weight. <laughs> That's because you don't trim much. Yeah. You don't trim much if you say something weight don't matter. I'm sorry. Maybe you show up to these little postage stamp yards, as we've called it forever, and you jump out and you just trim around the house and some fence line. <laughs> then it don't matter what. You could use the heaviest trimmer in the world. But, you know, me and Roy and stuff, we own creek banks and hillsides for long periods of time, hours yeah then then just come on down that's what i'll say anybody that lives in the mountains or does a lot of trimming actual trimming not just around yards and then you tell me two pounds don't matter but 2620 i love it that 225 it looks brand new because it still basically is because it's real nice but it has it's like mowing with trimming with a electric weed eater it's so weak Echo knows that. I talked to them about that. <laughs> but check it out. I put the Husqvarna blower. See, so there's a Husqvarna blower and a hedge trimmer under there. All on this side, there's that five. Man, do I love that five. The 223L is good, but that 535L ST. I wish everybody would give it a try like they are the other brands. It's funny. I mean, a lot of people are. I've been watching them. Oh, my group lawn pros. That 535 is a... Mm, I just changed the head on it. That's the T35. It had a T. What did you know, T? I'm getting my heads messed up. The 45, the big giant one. I put the smaller one on it. And I haven't done my reverse thread. And then that one is getting a speed feed because I haven't used it as a trimmer except I used it all winter and stuff as a hedge trimmer. So I've only trimmed just to play. But that 94, look how new it looks. I want to sell that, but mm, you never know. I might use it. My goal is, is another 525 LST. And you're going to say, well, buy it. And I probably will, but think about it. I don't need it. Like... I got to wear out three trimmers, four. The 128's too short for me. It hurts my back. That's my combi system before I replaced it with the 535. That 94R, you'd think would done kick the bucket, but it ain't. It's still going, so I still got to wear it out. Okay, I got to go. I've made a 20-minute video, and I'm going to try to cut it down. <laughs> I got in here and got to talking about weed eaters and string trimmers. But anyway, one more little overview. 
cabinet door i have it i just ain't put it back on those cabinets are empty i gotta redo these cabinets i gotta fix my shelves but yeah and i might get a load of gravel and put in here i think that's what's gonna happen that big sexy behind on that toro i like the back end of that that's what she said anyway that's it god i gotta shut up peace